Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to be installing these Diode Dynamics SS3 LED pod lights onto the front end of my JL Wrangler. Now the lights that I have in front of me are their SS3 Sport in their spotlight configuration. These are going to shoot the farthest at 389 meters at 0.25 lux. Now they feature over 100,000 candela per light, which is extremely bright as well as extremely concentrated. Now to get these installed on an aftermarket bumper, the only thing we need are the brackets that are already on here and they install with the kit included in them. And then the next thing we've got is a set of these Deutsch adapters which are on the bumper. I'll show you guys those in a sec. They simply adapt your factory fog lights to an aftermarket one here. Now, if you do have a factory stock bumper, be sure to check out our Diode Dynamics SS3 videos where we discuss how to install those into a factory bumper and exactly what they look like. But for now, we're gonna throw these on the Jeep and see how they look. As you can see here, we've got our adapter from our factory fog light connection to a Deutsch outlet. Now that Deutsch outlet will plug right into the back of this Diode Dynamics SS3 light and give us power using the factory fog light switch. That means when you put your high beams on, the fog lights will turn off and vice versa. Now with these, this is a spotlight here, so this one isn't a DOT approved, but we do have a lot of DOT approved options that you can put on here and use as a factory fog light while you're driving on the road. These right here are gonna be for off-road use only or if you're on a back road or something without any cars coming. So to get these mounted up, they include a nice carriage bolt as well as a flat washer and a lock washer and then obviously your nut. First thing we wanna do is put that in through the hole that we wanna mount it to. And then we can get the nut onto the back side. And then you can tighten that down using a half inch socket or a ratchet wrench, whichever is easier for you. We do have limited space here, so we're gonna be using a ratchet wrench. So once you've got it tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our Deutsch connector onto the back. You'll hear a small click, and then you can get that aligned however you'd like. Repeat the exact same process on the other side, and we'll show you guys how it looks against our garage door wall. As you can see guys here, these are super concentrated as they are spotlights. So you're gonna be able to see really far down the trail or somewhere in an open area. We've got on the garage door wall about 10 to 12 feet away and they are in about the size of a basketball from 12 feet away. So you can increase that the farther you go and see just how concentrated these will be. Overall, they're super great light, plus the light output is exactly up to par with what they say on the box. All right guys, with some help from those adapters, we've got these Diode Dynamics SS3 pod lights installed on our Jeep in literally less than 10 minutes. Obviously, I've got to recommend these if you have an aftermarket bumper and you've already got a hole in there or you just want to drill a hole and mount up a nice set of lights to get a ton of lighting output. These spotlights are going to be great for the trail and those long distance roads where you really need to see further in front of you. Now, if you want to check out these Diode Dynamics SS3 lights as well as their wide variety of other products, be sure to visit us at cjponyparts.com.